Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we solve your complications. My name is Lydia and I'm joined by my two good friends, Ravs and Harry. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Are you guys excited to kick this off? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, ner- I'm, I'm just so nervous about just, 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 God, the questions, Lydia, the questions that we've received. Ravs and I have looked at them a little bit. I don't want to ruin anyone's life, but equally, people shouldn't be following any of this advice anyway. So Yeah, I feel like we should say this is not legal, financial, relationship. This is not health advice. This is none of the above. We have no qualifications. This is bad advice. Don't do what we do. Don't no. do what we tell you to do. We this listen to the dumbest jobs in the world. Do not listen to us. If by some miracle we actually come up with some good advice, I would still think very hard if we come up with it. <laughs> actually worth trying (laughs) yes yes critical thinking is required when listening to this podcast (laughs) (laughs) so ravs for the newcomers for the first episode listeners describe to me tell me the tale of zero degrees why are we here what's going to happen how's it going to work are we excited i'm I'm very (laughs) excited and i hope that you guys are too i Mm. see i just figured we're three good mates and Mm. we collectively don't have any degrees no qualifications really to speak of it's such uh, a sad so, tale it's, exactly. it's so sad <laughs> so who more qualified than the three of us to help people you know as streamers you know people are always asking us in chat all the time like mm. dear streamer help me please um, <laughs> i just thought why not make it into an actual podcast we so, do get bombarded with these, these kind of questions and they are yeah. you know some of them are serious some of them are ridiculous some of them are funny yeah yeah <laughs> so I feel like it's nice to have a place to just come together and just collectively kind of laugh yeah. <laughs> at the, the quandaries <laughs> and the stories that our audience go through um, so we've put out the feelers and we've received an absolute ton of submissions from you guys which we're excited to get working on yeah um, I'm, I'm interested though lydia what what question do you feel like you're most looking forward to answer like what kind of question do you want to get your teeth into and equally, is there any that you're just like, oh, fuck this, <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I know that there's going to be stupid, dumbass questions like, why am I no gum right? And stuff like that. And that is just not my, that is not my bloody uh, expertise at all. I don't know how to answer those weird questions. I'm sorry. I'm going to, those are yours, your forte, Harry. Those are not my forte right, at all. I guess we're already chopping up the question pie. You know what I mean? We're already like dividing it and staking our claims. <laughs> What, what what ones do you really want to pass on? For me, I just feel like anything like poo related, I'm good. I don't need really, anything to know about like your poo tales, your like, poo problems. I can't do a poo poo. I did a big poo poo. I did a poo poo at the wrong time. Um, what if we get like a time sensitive help? I'm at a party and I really need to poo poo, but the toilet. I don't want to know. I, I'm good. Real. You guys Please. take those. I'm and they need the, the answer within five to ten minutes. Like God, they're screwed. <laughs> Then who better to send it into our backlog of questions? <laughs> oh, I'll get this answered in six months' time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's kick this off with the first question, which is mm-hmm. dream related. So it's Ooh. one night I dreamed Josen. 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 Wait, how do you say his name? Mo. Mo- Jason Momoa. Momo- Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. <laughs> Actually, wait, there's loads... Jason Bobo. wait, there's loads of words I can't pronounce for this. I'm not really this one. <laughs> okay, I'll t- I mean, there's Vanilla one word that I have. Vanilla Yeah, how do you say van? That must okay. be a, a med, a medication. Venla- Venlafaxine? Venlafaxine? Yeah. yeah, I guess that... Yes, yes, I think that is correct. I think you've got this one, Lydia. Go for it, come on. What? Okay, I believe, right. I believe. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's kick this off with the first question sent in, which is, one night I dreamed Jason Momoa and me and my partner had a threesome. And the next Ooh. morning it was announced that he was single. And then a few weeks later, I dreamed that my partner and I were a thruple with Andrew Garfield. And the next day he was declared single as well. Are my Venlafaxine fueled dreams ruining this <laughs> the relationships of famous Hollywood actors? 
That is the question they pose. I mean, once is a coincidence, twice is is fate. You know, that's there's no way that's happened twice in a row, and that's just coincidence. I'm sorry, I don't believe in that. No, this person has the power. I think I want I want them to do a control group. You know, I want them to start you know fantasizing about a couple more people and see what happens before. Yeah, I guess who do we want them to dream about, and who do we want them to split up? If they like could who, do just a little cheeky hardcore uh, swingers party with Henry Cavill, that would <laughs> uh, that would really help me if they could think about doing that. That'd be great. That'd be really. Do they nice take commissions? Do they take commissions? <laughs> <laughs> I, that is so strange. It's such a it's such an odd. It's weird how life like aligns, and you find these moments of like seemingly random things kind of conjoining together. I I kind of believe. Maybe you do have a superpower. Maybe you are special. Maybe whatever. I don't know what this medication is that they're taking. Yeah, Maybe I'm this no is idea. giving you the superpowers. I don't know. Possibly. Do you guys have often have like sex dreams about celebrities? Is that a thing you, you have? I feel like a lot of my dreams are just, just my, exam related my, my, and usually nightmares. <laughs> I'm my a lot dreams of are all just trauma. nonsense. Like, it never makes sense. Like, one minute I'm fighting a dragon, and the next minute I'm being like killed by Michael Myers or something. And then, like, the, and you then you're and then you're having a threesome with Michael Myers, and it's yeah. so fucking hot. And then yeah. he's single the next day. Yep. Exactly. Do you, do, you, do you have a lot of sex dreams about celebrities, Lydia? Um, every now and again, again, like you, Harry, my dreams are more like. Oh, oh, I've got an exam or, oh, my teeth yeah. are falling out. They're usually more like stress streams. Although, you know what? It's such a coincidence you said that because last night I dreamt I was best friends with Lizzo. And now I've woken okay. up just loving Lizzo. You know I, when I'm you sorry, have a dream? I'm literally Googling, is, is, is Lizzo splitting up with her? <laughs> <laughs> my we weren't, you know, we weren't partaking in a thruple of any kind. We were just best mates. It was lovely. And now I just feel so enamored by Lizzo today. I want to listen to all her music. Oh, like, I just love her. You just parasocially amazing. dreamed in a relationship with yeah. Lizzo. That's amazing. Yeah. That's <laughs> it just much. reminded me of one of my weirdest dreams. And uh, I did not have sex with the celebrity in this dream. But right. I had a dream where I was best mates with Kim Kardashian and we went shopping together and that was the entire that's the, that was the entire dream there was nothing sexual about it, it was just, we were just hanging out. but now you know split with Kanye oh. going with Pete Davidson I'm did sorry you make Mr. That West happen, Ravs? Did I, you hope, make that I hope happen? I didn't I hope I didn't Yours is like the if if Ravs is friends with someone in a dream they split up. I like that. That feels like a lot nicer. Oh, no. it feels a lot nicer than just like you're having this weird threesome and then that person is bit stuff in real life. I don't. It's very strange. I mean, I'm interested. Have they spoken to their partner about this? Like, does oh, their partner yeah. know? Oh yeah. Like, would you would you feel jealous if your partner was like, I had this like really hardcore sex dream about a celebrity? Would you be like, oh? Oh, like I that just, makes me feel funny or you'd be like oh it was just a dream you can't control that i i'm i'm of the mind of dreams are dreams you can't really control them they're whatever no. you can't like you can't like you know my partner sometimes wakes up and is angry at me for things oh, yeah. i've done and like, yep yep i'm yep. i'm, I'm I not i am not the person in your fucking dream yeah. <laughs> like, you can't wake up and literally like punch me like this is not okay <laughs> i, I, I not absolutely do the exact same thing i get so pissed off because i'll be like you cheated on me last <laughs> night in my dreams <laughs> so, it's your brain it's your brain that's coming up with this this is very much a you problem <laughs> i i don't know i don't put that much i don't put that much thought into dreams but i do think they mean something i don't think they're like they're not real right they're not they aren't like actually coalescing into reality. What if so, they're just another multiverse? Oh, oh. I saw that dream yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't, I don't know. Are, are, are there are there drug fueled dreams ruining the relationships of Hollywood actors? Probably, yeah. <laughs> well, there are like yeah, meds can make your dreams go absolutely crazy. I would say our advice for this reader, I would say, is uh, for an experiment. Can you? have mm -hmm. a few more and see if yeah. they keep happening um, and then report back to us as this could be a very powerful thing that we would like to utilize if yeah. possible. Try it with The Rock, right? Try it with The Rock because yeah, you know, he's, he's got like a wonderful girlfriend and like a couple of daughters and stuff. Just see what happens. Just <laughs> oh yeah, do it. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, just ruin their lives. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a sta nice stable relationship because it doesn't count if they're about to break up anyway. Yeah, exactly. Who is like the golden couple of Hollywood? Like they're never going to split. Like I guess, um, um, who who is like the golden couple? 
Uh, certainly not Will Smith. It's Roll certainly oh, not God, Will no. Smith and Jane. Oh, it's clinging on by a thread. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, maybe do you write that one? I don't yeah, know. Maybe. Just push Fuck it over it. the edge. Just I after. think just every night, new celebrity, write a list, like date it down, send it in. I guess we are just asking this listener to go and dream about threesomes, which is a, which is a weird request. Which feels weird. It feels weird. <laughs> According to the Google search I just did, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. <laughs> No way. They are not the golden couple. <laughs> They're not I, the yeah. golden no. couple. No. She, she, uh, what did she do? She dreamed him alive when she was four years old. That yeah. is not a stable couple. That's I am weird. Say. That's a very <laughs> weird thing. Did, did she actually say that? She said that. She said that when, because he's four years younger than her, that when she was four years old, she like, uh, like made him happen, made him like with her thoughts. That's a weird premonition it really is that right? makes me uncomfortable wasn't, wasn't the other really weird thing they said was like she said like babe you smell like weed and then he looked into my eyes and said i am weed. <laughs> <laughs> and then he thing. disappeared and that was the yeah. first time they talked to each other that's my life oh um, yeah if you I, could split them up that yeah. would just be great just yeah go, honestly that's just, 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 just be happy about okay. that yeah what about, what about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. That could be like a good test. Oh, right? no. No, no. Rats, that you feels me. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait, 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 oh, sorry, sorry. John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. Sorry, I'm just going through like an insider.com article here. Of oh, maybe right. split them up. Okay, yeah. No. Okay, they seem oh. pretty stable yeah, as well. I mean, if anything, we'd all, ben- we'd all benefit from some more like sad John Legend songs. Oh. It would be great. Yeah. He does write a lovely ballad, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. 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 Right. Make him really sad. That's your homework. <laughs> John Legend and Chrissy Teigen go have a crazy drug fueled sex. With you. <laughs> Enjoy your threesome. Enjoy Bye. it. Have a good time. Because I know, I know, there's strong opinions on this across the internet. Everyone, mm-hmm. question two: If you stack two lasagnas on top of each other, do they become one lasagna? <laughs> Just. I- <laughs> I just have to uh, just describe. I just literally facepalmed. I this question is so dumb. <laughs> this is the dumbest question in the world. Yep. But it is very thought provoking. It, it, it's it's kind of an infuriating question. You know, it's just, it's in the same arc as a hot dog a sandwich to me, mm. uh, which mm. I strongly believe a hot dog is not a sandwich. Agree, and it's not. I, I agree. I think personally that a lasagna on top of another lasagna is not one lasagna. I think it's two lasagnas. Yeah. Also, are you doing it before it's cooked, or are you doing it after it's cooked? Oh, I feel like if you do it before it's cooked, it is. It's, it's, it's one, a lasagna. It, it's one lasagna. But if it's after cooked, then it is just you have just taken two cooked lasagnas and stacked them. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, separate from you two and think it is one lasagna because I feel like with certain foods, layered food, you can just keep snacking and snacking forever. Like a trifle, you just keep fucking layering that custard, baby. It's just gonna, it's gonna just get oh, more trifly, you I, know? I feel, like, I feel like I'm getting triggered. I just have a, I have a disdain. I fucking hate vertical food. Like vertical what? food is so what? dumb. What, Harry, no. what? Like, okay, what? Like, okay, okay, hear me out. Like, <laughs> Imagine a burger. Imagine an amazing burger, a lovely mm. burger filled with so many lovely ingredients. Mm. The oh, opposite yeah. of what you want it to be is going higher because it's more impossible to eat. Like right. yeah, food that goes taller is less fittable in your fucking mouth. That's true. Food, that is food true. should go wider. So instead mm. of like, you know, stacking things higher, we should go wider with food. So just the idea of even stacking two lasagnas on top of each other, I guess just makes me mad. And I'm, t- <laughs> and and I'm so I just fucking, I hate it. You want them next to each other. You want a long lasagna. Yeah, a yeah. Long, yeah. A la longer, made, if you will. Yeah. Made food. Yeah, I'd wide have food. a burger that's like longer. Yeah. <laughs> Big long burger. You okay, find that? Yeah. I, just, I find it so like you go to a restaurant, you order a burger, and then you just have to basically take the burger fucking apart and eat it with like a knife. It's a knife and fork. I yeah, hate that. What, what are you doing? I want to get. I want to get dirty. I want to get dirty. Yeah, I want to get greasy. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I guess I'm already offended by the See, question, but I think it's... I'd probably agree. It is one lasagna. Well, no, because if it's cooked. And then, like when you cook the the first lasagna, it's got like the crispy cheese on the mm. top, and I that don't. Can't I count that middle. as like that has to be the top. If yeah. you have that in the middle, then I suddenly think that that's just two lasagnas stuck on top of each other. Does yeah, but it... you'll still have it at the top when the second one gets put on. You just yeah, got that then, nice little middle. Yeah, but then that that nice little middle bit is is that that's the beginning of another lasagna, you know? Because <sighs> like, because it... lasagna doesn't have a, a crispy mm. cheesy middle bit. Is there, there. is there a definition of what is the definition of lasagna? I don't want to know what the average <laughs> the Oxford like, Dictionary um, defines yeah. lasagna. What is the definition? Like, 
because I feel like Italians are just we're losing the Italian listenership right now. <laughs> they're just they're just they've okay. left. They've Go gone. On, come back. I'm, gonna, I'm screaming, please come back. I'm doing the hand <laughs> thing they're doing. Gesturing <laughs> 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 them back towards me. <laughs> Pasta in the form of sheets or wage strips, an Italian dish consisting of lasagna uh, baked with meat or vegetables and a cheese sauce. Mm. See, it doesn't say how many layers, though. It doesn't specify how many layers it has to have. I think we can all agree pre-cooked, two on top is one lasagna. I, 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 can't, agree. I can't disagree with that. And then I, after I've got, I've cooking, got to agree before cooked, yeah. Then it gets a little bit... Mm, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable saying it's one. There's a bit of a grey area on the, the cooked yeah. lasagna. But I guess I'm still just like, Why? Why are you stacking this food into an unedible pie? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want, why, I don't why are you want doing this? Off. I'm just picturing all the sauce you're going to get on your face uh, trying to get it in your mouth, you know? I'm just imagining this wobbly tower of lasagna and you're just trying to fucking cut a slice down, fucking shaking. Like, just this, <laughs> it's just a nightmare. It's nightmare food. Ugh, it is so stressful. Mad. It's stressful eating. It is stressful food. <laughs> I mean, people do like deep, deep dish lasagna, right? And that's uh, but that's just like one you can big get lasagna. Deep dish lasagna. I think isn't that can, just yeah. like what's the difference between that and just lasagna? <laughs> yeah, what? Like what is it? How it's served? Like one's just in a dish and one's free and easy. Um. See, when people say deep dish, I'm just always like, it must just be tons and tons and tons of layers, right? Yeah. 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 What's what's Google saying? Google's saying although there's no traditional number, mo uh, most lasagnas have between three to four layers. Feel free to add more layers to accommodate a large party, however. So, you know, that's that's on the question how many layers should lasagna have? <laughs> Wait, is that three to four layers of like past of each ingredient or just I'm guessing it's three stuff? to four layers of each each, each ingredient. ingredient. Each chunk. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Because I guess I guess like other layered foods like like croissants are technically just like millions of layers of of like doughy bread, right? Like it's all butter and dough oh. just layered on top of each other, and then like it all rises. Is that I never kind of think the same? of croissant as a layer? Croissant, you gotta yeah, say it like layers, like a they? you know like a truth. Yeah, yeah. Classic French croissant has fluid five layers. It's fifty. Five layers and a croissant. Yeah, a croissant. <laughs> again, we're really just fucking off the French listener base what, again. <laughs> well, it's like, do we say it like mega British croissant or croissant? Quas wait, croissant. Or Is croissant. That croissant. Yeah. Croissant, croissant, croissant. <laughs> I, 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 like I genuinely a... don't know how to say the word. I, I, say I, it, Ravs. Let's see how you do it. Croissant. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was that? I feel like a Scottish man just sneezed. <laughs> it's a hard word for me to say. Oh, yes. I, I know in France they they say that you know the more layers in a croissant, it's like the more impressive, the better the baker. Like it's mm. more artisanal to have more layers. So maybe we're like completely wrong. Maybe more lasagna layers, like in Italy, is like oh wow, look at you, you're so impressive, all these layers. I don't know. People, feel free to let us know. To any Italians? I feel like any Italians it has to be Italians. Gotta right? berate us. Yeah, there'll be some Italians who'll have like, like strong opinions on this. Oh yeah. But that's just because they're Italian, not because it's about lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right. I guess it is one lasagna then. We'll go for that. Okay. Yeah. But with a, oh, with a depending on oh. the pre cook, after cook. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like okay. that. I think that's a good rule, Lydia. Wow, guys, it's weird that it landed on me for this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, this question comes in and says, where can I hide a dildo? For context, <laughs> I'm at uni and my housemate got a dildo for Secret Santa at work. We started hiding it in each other's rooms and eventually I put it in her gym bag, expecting to find, expecting her to find it when she, when she packs. She ended up, she ended up pulling it out in front of her running club. What the? And I expect the game is about to escalate quite quickly so i need ideas where to hide it oh my god okay oh my god that's completely changed what i thought that question was going to be same oh. i thought it was i yeah. need to hide my dildo so other people don't find it not i yeah. need to hide someone else's dildo so she gets embarrassed when people you're, find you're it having weird like yeah. competitive dildo hiding <laughs> wait can we also uh address the fact that 
she got a dildo for a secret Santa. What the fuck? I feel like that's quite a standard thing. I, is it? Also, that's quite expensive, isn't it? Well, I know. It's, it's, not, it's not cheap, is it? Like, usually it's like secret, secret Santa's like a five or ten quid limit. Yeah, like, I've never had a secret Santa that good. Fuck. You never got one of those, what is it, love eggs? For, I'll get you one. I'll get you one for Christmas this year, Ralph. Don't thank worry. You, thank you, I'll, I'll treat you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where's a good place to hide it, which is going to really embarrass oh. her flatmate? Fuck. I wish I wish I I knew what sort of like course they were doing at uni because it could it could make all the difference you know what I yeah. mean yeah like, in what way what do you mean they, they might have like a big art portfolio if you could somehow like <laughs> get it in there or like you know they might they might be in a science class you could like put it in a beaker. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's so, so proof that none of us have ever gone to university. They got a science class and you put it in a beaker. Like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. I, I, I guess my mind instantly goes to, like, what is going to be the most... The, the, the objective seems to be to embarrass each other, right? That's, mm-hmm. that's kind of the friendly competition. Mm-hmm. I guess my question is, like, where's the line? Where's the line for, like, you've gone too far embarrassing? Because, like, anything of, like, in front of family is it in front of family too far are there family coming okay. to visit like is, I, I would say that's too far i'd say that's oh like, i wouldn't not i was gonna say I... let's go for the most embarrassing which is your parents surely oh god yeah okay. i just thought of a great one and it's if you it depends how close to this person you are but like if they're heading home for christmas or whatever it's like oh i got you a a present <gasps> for your parents um, oh no! Wait, a present for your parents? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or like for you to take home. Oh, that's, you know, a thank you for your parents moving yeah. in or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving yeah. me in or whatever. You know, what they were really nice when they were down right? or whatever. I just wanted to get them a little something, and you know, make you have to package it so it doesn't look like a big deal, though. Mm. And then Christmas day, <laughs> mom and dad, grand's round as well. You're opening up the package and then they just pull out the dildo. And it's even more impressive if you get it in like a glass bottle. <laughs> Oh, is it, one is, of those chips. is it even funnier though actually doing the reverse you set you find out where they live send it to their parents but address it from your friend oh, oh. instead of from oh, you that feels from too your, far that, that feels, feels too that feels, <laughs> that feels i mean that's also, an attack we're not really finding that's not really where to hide it that's just yeah. more like embarrassing them yeah, it's got it. Was the original question, where can I hide it? Yeah, yeah. I need to tell you where to hide it. So, as much as that is the ultimate, like, cutthroat, God, I feel that like is that's mean. breaking I hate rules. That. Yeah, it's got to be somewhere hidden. So, it's hard with parents because, I, you know, we're assuming they don't, that mm-hmm. maybe they don't live that close to them if they've moved out for uni and stuff. Yeah. So, they probably don't see the, their parents that much. Um, and where could you hide it so their parents find it when they come around? It's a bit of a weird one. I, I feel like I feel like actually the best place to hide it is somewhere really obvious that your friend won't know, and you can all you and your housemates can all laugh at. Mm. So if, if your friend is either short or tall and thus doesn't get a good angle on something, can you just have it live somewhere for ages and everyone else can see it and knows it's there? Like hiding it in plain sight, I feel like is almost funnier. You know that thing of it's it's just replacing the lamp stick and the lampshade in the living room <laughs> and like everyone knows it's there but your friend doesn't know <laughs> and everyone is just laughing about it like that that feels like the kind of the i feel like if there's a play like that that's kind of that's fun. hilarious i do feel like almost she's almost or they've almost peaked with the dildo falling out in front of her running club like that yeah, is so embarrassing yeah, that's 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 tough that like is that's, really tough to beat. That that is hum- like I can't imagine. You've, what, you've already done so well. That you know, scenario what? must have been so fucking embarrassing. Holy shit! The dildo yeah, just I, rolls out in front of your feet, in front of the people <laughs> you go running with. Like, ah. Uh... <laughs> I feel like yeah. The, that's it. The only way to now one up it is time. Like, yeah. You know, it has to catch them completely unaware. You know, it has to come back in like four months' time or something. You know, it needs to go completely out of their mind, mm-hmm. but they're no longer worrying about the dildo and where the dildo is. So, and then, oh yeah. no, the dildo's here. <laughs> That story actually reminds me of a tragic story from my school time um, oh, yeah. when I was yeah. in math class and I was just like, you know, I, I, I like kicked my, my heel out of my shoe a little bit, you know, I was just bored. Mm-hmm. And then someone behind me must have played an awful, awful joke on me because I was walking, it was lunchtime. And I'm like, oh, there's like a balloon in my shoe. And I proceeded to heel <laughs> out in front of everyone, the biggest, reddest condom you've ever seen. <laughs> like, and it doesn't help that my actual name is Johnny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. 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 I just like standing there with this Omega red condom. Extra, uh, extra large. And I am not an extra, extra large. So you can't even use it. It's a wasted <laughs> it was, gift. It was a waste. It was a waste. <laughs> 
<laughs> why, why, why at school were condoms just like the funniest thing? Why I know, right? Because they're I not that funny. I don't like, know. <laughs> Man, I, I feel I feel like there's some some good plays you could play, like hide it in the bread bin. That could be a good one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bake it into a loaf of bread. <laughs> oh that, wait, yes, bake her a cake or something insane. and then give it to yeah. her to eat that it at uni. That's actually insane. That's she amazing. takes a bite. <laughs> you, that's so psychopathic. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. But it, yeah, hide it in some food. Hide it in their food. That's great. Like, oh, it's your that birthday coming up. Cut the cake. <laughs> no, no, not even cut it. Because she goes to take a big bite out of it in front of all her friends oh, at uni, so and, it, and she's just hunkering down on a big dildo. I mean, that's great. <laughs> oh my god! I yeah, think you I, nailed it, Harry. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think yeah. that's the awful, awful answer. <laughs> <laughs> Right, the next next, one. next question. Uh, how to get to the next step in meeting up after a conversation on Tinder? Mm. Right. Do you, either of you have like Tinder experience? Like, yeah, I went on a few Tinder dates before. Yeah. 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 So yeah, how did you, you? Yeah. Did you navigate like, how did you navigate from the talking to the meeting up? I went on like maybe three Tinder dates. Um, and I'm, I'm an incredibly fucking shy person if you can believe that but i, I know probably not uh, <laughs> merely just nodding yep. <laughs> uh, yep, yes. i don't know i just i just spoke to them every single day you know just like every day we would just chat shit keep the conversation going and then be like bam what are you doing this weekend i, I like, do med I conversation do, like what are you doing i, I agree weekend? that's we'll the strategy get you food you know yeah. that was that was it like mm -hmm. that, that just just felt natural to me so there should be a point in the conversation where it feels natural right like i, I think you like... do have to be careful with that though because if yeah. you drag it on too long mm -hmm. you yeah. just kind of get bored and then maybe one of you moves on do you know what i mean mm -hmm. then it's yeah. like kind of this sweet spot of you're talking enough you're getting to know each other um it also depends if you just want some fuck or if you just want <laughs> if you're actually looking for <laughs> If you're looking I mean, for a relationship, you know it's, I mean? so, it's like doing a podcast with Shakespeare. It is beautiful. The way you articulate yourself is gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, I was Do they want fuck? There. You yeah. want fuck? Well, well, see, I, I'm, I'm saying that because like, you want to get to know someone if you're actually going to go out and maybe go on a date with them. Where yeah. you, instead of you like, want to go for some drinks and then do some fucking, then, <laughs> you, know, you don't have to put in as much of a graph there, you know? It's just, I get, yeah, I get the impression from this question that they're thinking more about dating. Yeah, uh, me like, too. I, yeah, I think they care, right? they're like they're thinking about, about the fuck part. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say, yeah, echoing what Harry said, like you don't want to leave it too long because you get excited when you're talking to someone for the first mm -hmm. time. You're getting to know them, but yeah, if it goes on for too long, they might start talking to someone else. They might mm -hmm. like it just runs out of steam. You might end up talking too much, and then you meet up in person. You've already like discussed a ton yeah, of shit. You want to yeah. save some for meeting in person. Um, I would say bite the bullet, do it sooner rather than later. And you could either do like a segue. You could be a kind of like. Um, Oh, do you, do you like movies? Or I, have that's you, a normal thing. Get normal a, people say to each other. They, they have to type it the same way you're saying it, like <laughs> weird capitals. <laughs> you I, like movie? You <laughs> like movie? Um, something about I don't know. Like, oh, I saw that that new. Fuck, I don't fuck knows something. Something that the, you know in the cinema, and then be like, oh shit, do you want to go see it together? Or yeah, just bite the bullet and be like, say, hey, you're free this weekend. Do you want to grab a drink? That is, you know what? I take it away. Don't do any of my weird you like movie. Just <laughs> just send a message saying, hey, you free this weekend to grab a drink. That is it. That's all you yeah, need yeah. to do. That is that, it. Or if if you're if you're not a big drinker and you don't and they're not a big drinker, I feel like if grab you've a bite talked, to eat. talked enough that you feel like you should take it to the next step. Sorry, there's a cat on there. <laughs> Lombo is here to help <laughs> solve the problems. Um, I feel like if you've talked enough, you should probably know the common interests that you have, right? And that mm, yeah. can bring an activity or a thing that's related to that. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's a simple way to go about it. And if you don't have that, then yeah, just go for a drink. Yeah. And if you really don't have that, just probably stop talking to them about it. Yeah. Like, make sure, you're, make sure there's full the conversation. Like, yeah, make sure make sure you're at th this person might actually say yes to going out on a date with you. Otherwise, you're just going to get there and like sit in silence. It's going to be really weird. I would you know? I would say the classic dating advice like have an have an excuse, have a re thing that you can dip on if you're if you're like going on Tinder is quite scary. Yes, having, having an easy out of like yeah. you know electric in room 
run. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Electric in room. <laughs> <laughs> what? Movie picture starting. <laughs> just run. <laughs> Movie time. <laughs> <laughs> I like movies. <laughs> I think I would say from the question, I would imagine that there's probably a lot of nervousness and anxiety about asking because they're worried that maybe the person will say no. But mm. I think with this, like, just do it. Because the worst case scenario, like if you've been talking, they're probably not going to say no. Uh, but the worst case scenario, if they do say like, oh, I'm busy or whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter. Just ask them. If it happens, it happens. If they say no or it doesn't come to fruition, like it's not the end of the world. Like, just go for it. Like, but have belief in yourself. Ask them. Bam, go with it. Like, there's no point just being too nervous I to do it. I when I was nervous to do it, was I would type in, do you want to go out for a drink? And then I would throw my phone on my bed. Yes. I would instantly do something else to distract myself. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I, would wait, I would wait for the vibration and I'd be like, oh, fuck, it was an email. Throw my phone away. <laughs> <laughs> until the notification comes in. You know, yeah, exactly. Like the worst case scenario is if they say no, then it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. And you never know. This person might end up being your partner in the long term. Like it's worth it. Ask them. But, you know, go for it. Hell I love yeah. that. Great advice. Mm. Wow. We actually gave great advice. Actually, Lydia gave, Lydia gave actually, great advice. <laughs> actually make me good advice. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I've been asked this so many fucking times, man. <laughs> All right. Question five. Is Ravs short for ravioli? <laughs> no. No, it's not. It's its own word. That's no, but not, could Ravs question. be short? <laughs> I also like the f- most philosophical question. Could Ravs be short for ravioli? It is, yeah. Uh, much to my pain of choosing it as my online alias. Wait, so when is. I was searching Twitter, when I was searching fucking Tumblr and stuff for people's artwork, uh, people be like eating toasted ravs, <laughs> eating like toasted ravioli, and I'm like, I'm just trying to see my Minecraft fan art, you know, <laughs> uh, and I have to see people's like delicious uh, thing. It's also an Indian name, R- uh, like Rav is short for like I think is it Ravinda or something like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're wrong. Uh, so I'd always be, you know, I type that in again. It's like just chilling with Rav. I'm like, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> what is? I know that you've told me this before, but I've forgotten. What is? Why are you called Ravs? What is that? Uh, I used what to play, is that? I played World of Warcraft with a guy, and um, we decided to make matching names. So he picked Navs, and I picked Ravs. That's cute. And that I, is very cute. From there on, I was like, I like this name, and I just yeah, it's a I've good name. Just rocked it for a long time. Um, Why did he pick Navs? What was the? Do you remember uh, what the origin was? His name was like Navio, right? Okay, uh, or something like that. So I like that. So what, wait, where did you come up with Ravs from? I, I just was like, I'll just have a batching name. Just um, rhymes, yeah. yeah. I was like, Bav sucks, Lav sucks. <laughs> Ravs, Ravs, that's good. I like that. I like the way that, that sounds, Ravs. It's so weird because I, I like, I, I obviously I know it's not your real name, but I so think of you as Ravs. Like, I cannot mm. get my head around that that's actually not your name. Like, your name is Jonathan. That's bizarre. You look yeah. like a Ravs. Like, it suits well, you so, so much. Weird. It is so weird. Yeah. yeah. I, I have slightly been considering like should i just fucking change my name to just be ravs just like, go no for it name. what's that what's that word is it the oh. the, the, the the word for having just one name like prince Your artist formerly known yeah. as <laughs> oh he's got about 10 words there but yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. just be prince brother. like ravs you know i what just you- sign ravs mainly because i have bad handwriting and i don't want to do more letters <laughs> do you think your mum would be sad well, that's the reason I probably wouldn't do it. Yeah. It would be sad. But I mean, everyone calls me Ravs. Like uh, when I go to a restaurant or whatever, that's like, can we take your name? I'm like, Ravs. <laughs> well, I have that awkward moment. I'm like, Johnny. <laughs> I, I, I used to think that we were quite weird for people going by online handles and stuff like in our office. But actually, it's, I feel like it's probably more common because a lot of people mm. do have like, you know, nicknames or names they picked up at school or names they picked up at work and stuff. So I feel like we're probably not that weird. Like mm. objectively, you just take a step back, and it's like us at the pub. It's like, oh, Rouse, yeah, do, go, do this, and then we're just all, all saying each other's online handles, and it's very strange. Like spiffing Brits, spiff. Like these are not normal names to call each other. But yeah, I feel like other people have nicknames and stuff, so maybe we're not that odd. I like, mean, yeah, some people's people. nicknames is like fucking Bongo or something. <laughs> 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 you know, you're like, oh, that's just Bongo. <laughs> Did you guys have nicknames at school? Mine was funny. 
Yeah. Squid, just You're squid. Just, yeah. yeah. People yeah. called you Squid at school. Yeah. Well, that's why. That's how I got my like online name was because people oh. called me Squid. Um, but it's weird because no one in my real life calls me Squid. Well, actually, one friend from school does, but none of like no one at work. None of you. It's no. interesting because that is you know my username Squid Game, but none of you call me Squid. Um, I don't know that's why it hasn't translated strange. into real life. Yeah. I guess it's because when I'm online, I don't. I call myself Lydia. You know, yeah. I don't say like my name is Squid. Um, and so it's not translated into to real life as well. But I was thinking like most people that we work with, we call them by a name which isn't their name. Yeah, we like, use some derivative of, whether it's even even a surname. Like, yeah. I don't call Tom Bates Tom, I call him Bates. You call him Bates. Like, 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 like Master Bates. Master <laughs> Bates. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, Ravs, Mousy, Xylus, um, it's it, like it's so oh, weird. It's my just, brain's gone like to Vivian, bed. Vivian, like, Vivian, Daltos, like, Nalzi, like none I of think, those people are. That's their names. No, I think it's just a thing now where like, if I introduce myself to someone as Ravs, which I would do now, I, I even think of myself as Ravs. Like in my own brain, I'm like Ravs. Ravs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even think of my name as Jonathan. I'm just like Ravs. Don't do that. It's like my inner monologue. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Ravs, really funny. Uh, like so, I think it'd be weird if you guys started calling me like Jonathan or John. John or Jonathan. Jonathan. What, what about if you were to be uh, betrothed? If you were to get married, do you think they would call you Ravs? No, they have to take that. They have to take the name Ravs. <laughs> take the name Ravs. <laughs> I don't know. That's like such a weird thing to imagine. Like, uh, would you name I a think, kid Ravs? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> That would be fucking you weird. Should. That'd be a imagine, weird. Imagine thing being assigned your gamer tag at birth. <laughs> 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 Mega, Megazord Laser Five. <laughs> Welcome to the world. <laughs> I mean, I guess Elon Musk had kind of got one now, right? Oh now. God, yeah, yeah. 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 straight ready with a gamer tag. God, yeah. that's awful. That is sad times. That poor child. That poor yeah. fucking child. Well, that's 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 why why I that poor billionaire child. <laughs> poor, poor yeah, I, billionaire. I don't <laughs> Oh, right. Harry, did you, next question. Were you were you just how, how, were you just Harry at school? Did you have any nicknames or? I went any... I went by my surname. There were a lot of Harrys. I was a year yeah. of Harrys. Mm-hmm. I had like at least four Harrys in my secondary school. Oh, so so I was like, like Marshall. I'm Marshall. You got a like. cool surname. Cool. Yeah, yeah it works like, as, cool, as a, yeah. a cool, a cool, cool. Did surname. you have a was veteran Harry also your online name or did you ever have like a, another one? Pink toaster. <laughs> Pink toaster was my first. Pink nice. Toaster. Pink Toaster is my favorite. Pink Toaster, I think, is a great online handle. I, like I love it. I like it. I just wish I still went by it. It's hilarious. It's such a dumb name. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's adorable. Pretty it's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was Marshall, which I like. I, I like. I kind of wish I had my online handle instead of Barry. Barry <laughs> Barry is so fucking just confusing and laborious. It's not good. <laughs> what I think is funny is how like knowing you i switch between calling you barry and harry without even thinking Same. about it like Same. it's like my brain just picks a random one to call you I, yeah. it's so weird i never think of you as one i always just call you different things and i never think about which one it's going to be i literally it's quite frustrating because harry's already quite a common name barry's also quite a common name so you know when like people walk past in the street and they're like calling out for their friend oh harry harry i know that like two times <laughs> they're both like super common names in the uk i've got these like <laughs> turning my head around looking for different people shouting out harry and barry fucking nightmare <laughs> this question one of my family members is an Anne Summers rep uh, and keeps trying to sell sex toys to my female friends and is putting a real strain on my relationship with both my family and my friends. She won't stop despite my asking, please help. <laughs> for, those, for those who don't know, I guess Americans may not be aware, Anne Summers is kind of a a sexy, lingerie, nightwear sex shop in the UK. Mm-hmm. That, and like they have like these people who are like reps for them. Uh, I, I've always thought it was like a bit of a pyramid scheme. I don't know how it works, but like it's basically these, uh, whoever it may be, will have a bunch of dildos and sex toys. <laughs> I don't know. I've not been to one of these parties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> will, yeah. Obviously yeah. in the third person. Yeah. I, know, uh, yeah. I would experience uh, this. They will, they will host a party with a bunch of, I guess, female friends or whatever, and just try and sell dildos to them. 
Lydia, know anything about this? <laughs> <laughs> voice cracked. <laughs> yeah, why did your voice break then, Ryan? Right? Uh, yeah, you because we're Lydia. We're stressed like you there. You still yeah. talking about the sex toys? <laughs> I've, I've never, I've never been to one, but I, from what I can gather, yeah, like you have a few drinks, so everyone gets a little bit loose, um, and then yeah, they, they sell these. <laughs> they, they do live demonstrations. They, uh, oh my god! <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they try and sell some of these. It's like the same. Like uh, like Avon, where they try and sell like makeup products or whatever, but they just happen yeah. to be um, sex sex toys, sexy sex toys. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm I'm all for you know sex toy empowerment. Both yeah, female males, you know, use it, abuse it, do whatever you want to do to that toy. Have a fun time, <laughs> enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's fuck yeah, Harry. Zero degrees starts. <laughs> use, use it, baby. Okay. Yeah. But, but it does feel. It feels. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty. I'm a pretty open person. But like doing that stuff with like trying to like sell it to like your friends and family is like. There is maybe a boundary being crossed there, mm, right? Like that is. Yeah. That is like. There's a slight level of privacy that some people might enjoy, of not thinking and knowing the intimacies of what's going on with their best friends or their, yeah. their family like, members. Mm. I feel like it's fair. I don't feel like I like disagree that this person is a little Can bit imagine annoying. Imagine you're like doing a shift at work or whatever, or you're out with your mates, and then you come home, and then there's your mate with your mum and your oh, sister God. and like some other female friends sitting in your living room, just fucking all holding massive dildos. <laughs> like, I'd hate that. <laughs> I'd hate that. I'd be running up to my room. I'd be crying. I'd yeah. be screaming into my pillow. <laughs> um, that's like scarring. That's, that's like, like that's you're going to be telling imagery. a therapist that down the line. You don't, you don't want to see that visual imagery, right? Like, I'm no, not, you're not. no, no, I like, agree, Harry. Definitely. Like, yeah, there's a lot of, obviously there's a lot of stigma around it and it, it, people ca can find it obviously very embarrassing and stuff. But um, for a lot of people, it is still something that they want to keep private and they don't really want to, uh, everyone to know their business. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I, definitely feel like a lot of people would find that like having their boundaries crossed uh for some people it'd be fine and you know more power to them but yeah definitely for some people like i would find that really weird personally I guess it's, it's that kind of thing of like the the person who's writing in their complaint is they're kind of like a third party right like yeah they're not yeah. saying that sex toys are bad they're saying they don't like the idea of having to be it's kind of like it's a non-consensual participation in your mum buying a fucking dildo. Like, I don't want to know, mum. Okay. I don't yeah. want to know. Stop fucking, like, waving it at me. I don't know. Like, that's <laughs> not fair. Like, I, I don't know. I, I may have a terrible idea on how to stop her. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. You have to go to these parties, too. With your mum and your sister there. I know it sounds grim. Mm -hmm. But if you go there and you just act way too into it, you just, you're just like, man... I want the XL, XXXL, hugest dildo you have. The pussy uh, destroyer. The pussy destroyer. <laughs> the anal ripper. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, no. These I names. want the anal ripper, you know. Uh, I want a gallon jug of lube. Uh, <laughs> can I do a live demonstration for you all? Just try and scare oh no. everyone just, out of it, man. Like, try and weird like them out. That could backfire so badly of like this broaches this new relationship that you yeah. have with your family and friends. Yeah, like, that's why it's bad advice. It makes so great that you're so open to these things. I, I I have all these questions that I'm gonna ask you about these things now. And it's like, no, yeah. no. I think yeah. they might like it. I think if it sounds like they're quite pushy about it, and that's why it's causing a strain. I think if you suddenly go, fuck yeah, tell me more about the dildos, I think they're gonna be like, yeah. Yes, finally like they're they're yeah. into it so i think that is actually a terrible advice rabs that's terrible advice oh <laughs> <laughs> i wonder i'm so curious to know which family member it is because i think that really changes the dynamic like if it's your mom if it's your sister if it's your auntie that's a weird fucking conversation I, 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 no. <laughs> Grandad, Grandad, stop trying to sell dildos to my friends he's wearing like a little maid outfit <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And that no. I knew the first and summer. <laughs> I, oh god. I feel like you just gotta tell them to fuck off, right? There's like, you know, if it's really causing you that much strain and, and, and sadness, you know, mm. they're your family member, they should understand. You know, they're they're your friends, they're your boundaries. They're just trying to sell some fucking dildos. They can go sell dildos to anyone. Come on. Yeah. I feel like also... Everyone needs a dildo, Lydia. I, well, I just... I feel like these kind of ideas of Anne Summer's parties feels really outdated. Like, you can just buy everything online. You don't need to go to a party and bloody, yeah. like... I don't know. Like, again, this... maybe I don't... 
maybe this is me being prudish. Again, I don't feel prudish when it comes to this stuff, but I surely it's just easier to buy something online, like rather than go to a party. I don't have granddad. Oh no, granddad is the upsell. (laughs) Get a couple butt plugs in the side. Come on, guys. (laughs) Yeah, I I I agree. This it feels very old fashioned. Yeah, super old fashioned. Like you said, Ravs, it feels like a bit of a pyramid scheme, old fashioned like way of selling stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the best way is just to talk to them. I know it's pretty, seems pretty obvious, like, you know, pretty standard advice, but you've got to just say like, I don't think any of us want your dildos, mum. I do. I do think you're <laughs> right. Lily. The person, the family member it is really changes it. Yeah. I feel like if it's like, you know, your sister or brother, that's a completely different conversation to like, yeah. your mum. Yeah, oh, your dad. totally. Like, like that's so, so different. Or like your cousin, like I feel like to your uncle or auntie, like if they're like, I feel like they're like the same like age sort range of age. As you, like you're like mm. more equals and you can say fuck off. Whereas I feel like if they're like, they are an elder, then it's bit more it's wi- bit weird with it's like bit an weird, auntie yeah. you know i feel like auntie feels really embarrassing for some reason yeah like, I feel like it is an auntie honestly reading it back over yeah. i feel like it is an auntie it, 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 it has any energy it, it does doesn't nothing. it wine on uh, energy yeah, you know yeah. she's oh, the yeah. one that drinks too much at the christmas party kind of thing yeah she just picked up this new job as an Anne summer's rep and she's super liberal about it yeah, yeah. Oh, nipple tassels yeah. come on love you want one too don't your friends want some i'll get you a good day <laughs> God, that does just feel like the auntie you could just never say no to. You I just know. can't tell her to just fuck off. Like, like oh, thanks, auntie. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we haven't explored a route. Maybe a route is you. You join as an Anselmer's rep as well, and you just outsell them. You just outsell them to <laughs> oh like everyone God. you know. Yeah, get Put it done. Business. Not, no one's buying dildos like weekly. It's not like a fucking. You know, you're not like constantly splurging. <laughs> like it's a, it's a like a monthly to yearly purchase. Like I was going to say monthly. I don't think like well, I feel like it's you know it, built to last, aren't they? Different things or whatever. How, how, how much are you done. ramming yourself, Harry? If you're buying once a month, a month. I got <laughs> that <laughs> acidic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my question. <laughs> They burn right through them. <laughs> I, know, I feel like just get the sales done. Like just, you know, it's like it's like pulling off a plaster. Just sell everyone you know a dildo and mm-hmm. then it's done. And then it's done and you can be free. The only way to free yourself of the curse is to sell a hundred dildos. <laughs> that's, that's such a good point though. How How is this ant, I'm assuming an auntie here, how are they hounding people to sell these dildos? Like, do you know you buy one dildo and you're set for a while? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, maybe like you, very maybe you got the pack of dildo. the nipple tassels and shit. Yeah. You know what, like, <laughs> how? It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel like something that you can get that much sort of, uh, mileage out of mileage out of exactly <laughs> like yeah once you've bought the 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 fucking fanny twister 6000 like how many often like how many other ones do you have to buy i i, I wonder if this is like a small hamlet do you know what i mean and it's just their family that yeah. live in like this tiny hamlet so the, the auntie's just like fuck i have no one to sell to just like oh fuck auntie marie's coming back around and she's got fucking a box of dildos again <laughs> All right, I'm opening up Anne Summers to see how you become a rep. I don't see it on the book an event. That must be it. It must be book an event. Like someone will come round okay. with a suitcase of dildos. We have a dedicated ambassadors across the whole of the yep. UK now that are interested in an event. Simply complete this form. Yep. Okay. There's, they do digital events as well. Is that, oh. is that something they're doing? Are they doing like a Zoom? I guess it's like, <laughs> yeah, they events? probably do it over Zoom, don't they? That is so yeah. weird. I, I'm so Oh, maybe maybe we're wrong for thinking this is weird, but that is fucking weird. Just, That's some weird shit. Just fucking open a web page and buy some shit. I don't know. Like, do you need to have like a big Zoom seminar of like, this, this, is, the, this, is, the, this is the butt twister 5000. This, right, is, wait, this is my sex swing. <laughs> yeah. my, my, my husband Jonathan loves this one <laughs> but that's what it'll be like they'll be saying yeah. I imagine the reps will be like yeah I've been using this and you know yeah, and, we have vigorous my marriage yeah <laughs> like, we were, you know we, we're banging eight times a day since we got this like it'll be stuff like that like yeah. uh, you almost to bang eight times a day sorry like that is like that is not I don't want that it just, no it's not nice by that. the end is it it's just just be sore just sore, just sore. That, Lydia. <laughs> what are you, are you we're nerds eight times a day <laughs> excessive <laughs> it's crazy 
I mean, if they can, if that's what these products do, then maybe I need well, to go then Maybe I should be looking into the freaking butt twister 8000 or whatever, because that <laughs> sounds pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> right, what was, what, I guess, what was our rounding advice? Just tell them to fuck off. Just tell them to fuck off. Yeah. Like, just, or just tell them. us to one of their events. <laughs> but yeah, we want to come. As long as there's free wine, we want yes. to come to one of the events. We I'd want say... to come. Perfectly worded. Yes. What a wonderful place to end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to Zero Degrees. Be sure to submit your questions through the link in the description and leave us a review if you enjoyed it. Uh, We've been Lydia, Ravs and Harry, and we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.